Previously on Eastward. What? Dying? You mean William? What happened? The doctor said the only thing that could save him are glazy berries. Eh? Huh? Glazy berries? We've got those right here. Here, you take them. You need them a lot more than us. You gave it away? Someone was sick? Well, I suppose that does take precedence. Looks like we've got no choice. We're gonna have to use that. Ghost peppers. <laughs> The Mafia boss, we're feeding him ghost peppers, and he's expecting fruity, fruity, fruity. I look forward to your next, uh, creation. Try not to disappoint me next time. That's it! Big damn crab pot! We need to find a big damn crab and make the biggest damn crab pot Lee's ever seen! Without your help, these king crabs would have been meeting with Davy Jones. Take them, take them all. Is that safe to eat? I don't know, it looks a little fungusy. Howdy, you, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be continuing Eastward. Now, there was something I forgot to do in the last episode. In the last episode, remember there was that guy that wanted to get a hamburger so we can get fat to impress that woman, Roberta? I'm calling her Roberta, I don't remember her name was. I forgot to do that, we have to go to the bar to find a Mickey, Mikey, Mickey, to get the recipe for a hamburger, and then we're gonna feed it to him, and then when we feed it to him, he's gonna get fat, or no, he's gonna get fit. He said he's gonna get muscular for Roberta, and then she's gonna date him. So let's go make a happy ending, huh? Let's go make a happy, happy, happy story. <sighs> Treasure! Bam, bam. This not like an underground secret club? I'm assuming. Hello, who are you? Kurahachi. Someone once told me I should join the circus, and I did think about it, for a good while actually. But in the end, this is where I belong, curious as I may be. Sushi. There's never a better time than now to try new things. Right, we're in the middle of a quarantine, a pandemic. Might as well try new things now. Rebuild yourself, rework yourself, become better. I used to be an asshole. Now, even less of an asshole. Come on. <laughs> win win. No. Oh, no, no, no. I love my work far too much to leave now. You shouldn't make jokes like that, sir. Hello. Oh. Oh. Uh, damn sushi. Onigiri. Oh my god, what's in it? <laughs> Out of the flavor of this ball. What's in it? Saki? Sex on the beach? Oh my god, I wore the proper outfit to have a sex on the beach, mama. <gasps> strawberry milk? Oh, that looks so good. I'll take it. I'm gonna take that strawberry milk. I'm looking for a, a Mickey. A Mikey. Is there a Mickey or a Mikey here? This is where he, he said he hangs out here, right? Right? That's what he said. Let me go see. You can get the rest of my coin palace. Coin palace. Okay, I don't know where I don't know where I thought. Mikey! Yeah, and he has green he has a green beard. He has a green beard. That's what he said about Mikey. Yes, a green beard. I remember now. Hi! What's that? You wanna make a hamburger? <laughs> it's only the easiest, tastiest dish around. Gather around, folks, because I'm about to impart you on the knowledge you seek. I learned to cook a new dish, a burger set. Check out your recipes. How do I check out my recipes? Right there. Um, fruit, seafood, and meat. Ew. Ew. Uh. Y'all put fish in your burgers? Ew. I don't want no fish in my burgers. Get away from me. Fish in the damn burger. Uh-uh. Ew. Ew. I'm looking for a stove. I guess I have to travel all the way back home for a stove. Ah, shit. Wait, no, hold on, I was making a burger? Damn it, I didn't mean to start a cutscene. I did not mean to start a cutscene. Shit. Shit, what do we do? What do we do? John, the dough, big or small? Oh shit, there's crabs everywhere. <gasps> oh shit, what do I do? Oh no, we didn't have enough ginger. Oh no! Alva ate my pudding. <laughs> crap, 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 crap! The crabs, the crabs are getting away, John. Uh, oh no. Gather them, they're alive. Leave it to me. Get him, get him, get him. Gimme, give gimme. Give gimme. Give gimme. Give gimme. Give gimme. Give That's all of them. Time to take the crabs back to John.
John, the crabs, here you go. That's it? Oh, put it on the, okay, here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. John, I caught all the crabs. They're alive. I don't like cooking crabs. They're so scary because they're living. Oh god, no, 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 no. Whew, so this smells good in here. Have you guys already started cooking? Lily is totally going down this time. Jasper! Jasper! Where have you been? It's been like four episodes. Jasper, I miss you. John! Sham! The troop! The troop is done for. You must help us. If tonight's show isn't a rousing success, we'll... we'll... be forced to leave New Damn City. Don't sweat it. The Rocket Knight Legion is on the job. The troops... the troop? What is that? Rocket Knight Legion? Sweet! Sounds just like Earthborn. I just thought it up while walking through the door. Pretty good, don't you think? Don't worry, Jasper. The Rocket Knight Legion is gonna make everything right again. How? What, wait, what is he doing? The troop? What did he talk about? Wait, what? Wait, what? What did he talk about? There? <gasps> is that where Jasper's been? In that area right there? That whole time he's been right there? And he's, and he's, he's there's a troop? Hold on, I gotta cook a burger. Okay, so one thing about seafood, so seafood's fine and all, but for one, one of the reasons I don't like seafood is because crabs, legs especially, remind me of spiders. And so every time I see crabs being cooked, or like people eating crabs, I just think of eat, people eating spiders and my arachnophobia kicks in and it freaks me the hell out. No, I don't like it. I have a story to tell you though. I, one time I went on a date with a guy, and um, I didn't tell him that I wasn't a big fan of um, seafood, especially crabs. And um, he takes me, he's like, I'm gonna take you on a surprise. And I didn't think about it, I did not think about it. And he takes me to like, Red Lobster. And I don't mean, like when I say I'm not a big fan of seafood, what I actually mean is that I'm so afraid of seafood. Like it actually scares me. And so he orders, he, he takes me to Red Lobster and I, I'm, it's, our, it's my first day, so I'm gonna have to be nice. I'm like, oh, uh. And then, hold on, what do we say? We need, a, we need a fish, we need a meat, and we need a uh, fruit. Root. Sand root. Start cooking. Go make a burger. I'm gonna make it gold. 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 I got one gold. And so, takes me to Red Lobster. And I didn't say anything. I'm just being nice. I'm like, I'll just order a burger. I'll just order a burger. It'll be fine. And so I sit down and he orders the, like the king crab legs. And I'm like, of course. No, snow crab. Snow crab legs. And I'm like, of course you do. Of course you order the crab legs. Of course you do. And the re this is important. So he's, he's sitting right next to me, breaking open some crab legs, and I'm talking to him, and I'm just talking, I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, and I can't, like, I'm focusing, and I'm trying so hard, and I'm, like, sweating, like, so, it's freaking me out, and he cracks a snow crab leg right in the, in, in the perfect way, and it, a piece of it launches at me, and it hits me in the face, and I literally scream, and then I start crying, and he's, like, looking at me, like, so weird, <laughs> like, weirded out, because he's, like, <laughs> And then I see him looking at me crying, and then I I start laughing, and so now he's just looking at me crying and laughing, and he's even more weirded out. He's like, he's probably thinking like, what the fuck? And then so I tell him, I finally tell him, I was like, listen, I have this phobia, I don't like seafood, crabs, they freak me out, spider legs, and I, I could get like, literally freaked out, and I'm screaming on the inside right now. And then he starts laughing at the situation, he's like, you should have told me! And so we're just there laughing, and I was crying like an idiot. It was a weird date. He was a pretty alright guy. But oh my god, like I remember it being such a such a weird moment for me. But anyway, let's go feed the hamburger. No, wait, I gotta go feed the hamburger. Let me in. Let me through. Oh, thank you. I thought I was gonna be trapped. I got a burger for you. You guys figure out how to make a hamburger yet? Yes, give it to him. Holy wowza, yippee ki yay, and hot dog? So this is the legendary hamburger. Bam, I can just feel the power radiating from its all meat patty. I'll be a new man in no time. Just wait till Lin Lin gets a load of the my, my new studly self. Think. Oh, damn, one burger, mama? Oh, worse jeans than me. I can, I, I, oh my god. Psst. Over here. Oh my god. <laughs> You, you don't recognize me? It's me, Dwayne! I, I think I, I've eaten just a little too much of that uh, burger. Well, the rumors were definitely right, I'm a whole lot bigger now. But I think they left out the most important part because now I can't even, can't even stand up. 
Damn, how am I supposed to show off my manly prowess now? I hate to say this, but it looks like I'm gonna need your help again. You ever been down to Low Town? The people down there are all super thin. So what I'm thinking, right, is that if I eat a dish of theirs, I'll become thin just like them. What do you say? Help a fella out again? Flavor's not important. If it's for Lin Lin, I'll eat anything. Where's Low Town? Whatever happened to the passionate young man I saw earlier? He'll never get anyone to like him without a bit more perseverance. Just like that man on the bench over there. You don't like him? He thickened up for you, woman? Come on! Uh, come on! He thickened up for you! Uh, come on. Come on. Where the hell's Low Town? What was this? Low Town! I have been walking around forever looking for Low Town, and that guy has balls for a face. That guy has balls for a fa- oh my god. Would you ride that face? He's got balls for a face. Big job. What? What did you say, man? Lose weight? You you think we we you think we want to be this thin man? Haven't said that. If you're willing to put up the dough, I might just be able to offer you my top secret recipe, man. Heh. <laughs> uh, put up the dough. How much dough? How much dough? Huh? <gasps> he didn't tell me. How much dough? You ready for the, this, man? Us folks down here, we down on nothing but stir fried vegetables. It's super simple, man. Us pork folks down here, we can't eat none of that stuff you people do. Now scram! You don't belong down here, man. I learned to cook a new dish, a vegetable stir-fry. I've never been down here before. Hello? Lulu, why the devil is that dragon market back open again? All that yammering and clattering? How's the lady supposed to sleep? It's the middle of the day. It's so humid down here in the dam. Well, there's water everywhere. It's a sewer. Oh, you're in the- Oh, we're in the dam! Oh, hello. Many of those from the troop began their lives here in Lowtown, and were it not for need of money to eat, they ne'er would have left. They ne'er would have left. Hey! Hello. What do you think you're doing, Buster? Just cause I ain't got no door, you think you just barge right in? I'll show you the door. Out! Oh, I'm sorry. <gasps> Wait, no, no, no. Oh my god, there's a Mimi. There's a Mimi statue. I gotta, I gotta talk to Mimi. <gasps> How do I get down there? I can't get down there! I guess I kinda I gotta come back later so I can talk to Mimi. To cook vegetable stir fry, you just need a vegetable. What's the most vegetable I got? I got four potatoes, I got six onions. I'll do that, I'll do that, and I'll do that, and I'll go do an onion. Vegetable stir fry, let's make it and go feed it to the man. Gold! Gold! Oh! Gold! Oh! I got a first try. I'm gonna make my man fit and ready. Goodbye, ball face. And I mean that in the nicest way possible because I love balls. I do. They're so beautiful. They're so pretty, so gorgeous. The way they glisten in the sunlight. The way they jiggle in the moonlight. Mm. Sir, I got what you need. There you are, you're finally back. Did you find it? A dish that'll make me thin again? Uh, yes, a vegetable stir fry, which sounds pretty good actually. I kinda want some. Quick, give it to me. Holy wow, the yippee ki yay and hot dog! This flavor! Destitute but healthy at the same time. I just know I'll lose weight with this. Are you gonna do it? Is it gonna lose weight? <gasps> He's thin again! He's not muscular though. <laughs> I guess it was pretty effective. But now I'm just back to the way I started. Oh, I'm hopeless. What do I do now? Isn't there any dish out there that'll make me stronger? Is that it? Hello. Oh, the young man finally came back! You know, I'm actually starting to find his persistence quite cute. A single conversation wouldn't hurt. Oh, oh, go talk to her. Isn't there any dish out there that'll make me stronger? Go talk to her, she said, go talk to her! Is that it? Is that it for the side story? You ain't been to New Damn City if you ain't had a sip of sweet lightning. We put it in everything. Alright, so from the looks of it, Jasper and his troop is right over here, which I still don't know what that means. I haven't been over here yet. Oh! It's a circus! Jasper joined a circus? Ratson, you hear that, you good for nothings? I need that money and I need it today. Oh my god. You can't just raise the rent like that. At least give us a bit more time. <laughs> you two bait hack jobs, I could give you 10 years and you'd never pay back that money. If you don't pay me what you owe me, well, you better just start packing your bags, you hear me? Oh, you'll be out. What are you looking at? Out of my way.
so rude. Never fear, my friends, I have returned. And look who I've brought. It's over already. We're finished. No ifs, ands, or buts. Wind Guardian, we don't pull off a miracle tonight and we're out of here. Better to start thinking about what we'll do after we leave. Go? But you can't go. Then I'll never be able to eat your ice cream again. Sorry, little bun. It's not like we want to go. I must admit, had we known this would be the conclusion, perhaps we would have never have come to this city at all. Quiet! All of you! What kind of performer abandons their own audience? Ooh. Yes, Jasper, get him. Jasper's got a point. I can't agree. I mean it. How can we just abandon our audience, huh? But. So what are we waiting for? Let's practice like the Dickens. Then show the city just what a Fantasia train is made of. Let's do it. Yeah. Woo. Her worry isn't unwarranted. If we open tonight's show in our current state, it will be nothing short of a disastrous disaster. You must help us. There must be something we can do. Jasper, you've gotten friends. And you're so lively. The last time I left you, you were so down on yourself. But look at you. You have friends. And you're always on his people. I'm so happy, Jasper. Hey, kiddos. Old Whisker Face sure got those whiskers in a twist this time. Heh, <laughs> what do you expect? Where cheese goes, rats follow. Only in this case, the cheese is cold hard cash. You got a saying for everything, don't you? Does this mean the troop's gonna have to leave? Hard to say. Well, whatever. Let's go play Earthborn. Mm -hmm. Not if I have anything to say about it. Oh, I heard a ding. There it is. Treasure. I see it. I see it. Move. Move out of my way. Got tokens to get some more pix balls that I still haven't done. <laughs> Beetle Force, assemble. Earth, your wind. Wind, your earth. Fire, exactly, correct? No, 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 again, from the top. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Eh, excuse me. Is there any way perhaps I could be of help? Huh? Oh, it's just you... Jiang? Jiang? I'm gonna say Jiang. What? Don't tell me you want to join, do you? Oh! I'm, um, not quite sure that would work. Perhaps if we got her a change of attire. You know, to, uh, exaggerate things a little. A brilliant idea! Yeah, but where are we gonna get something like that? We don't even got money to put food on the table. Oh ho ho! I've got just the ticket. The perfect costume! On the second floor of the coin palace, you'll find some, uh, paraphernalia. You two don't think you could go grab it for us, do you? If you're so familiar with this paraphernalia, why not fetch it yourself? I, uh, have my reasons, you know. Besides, we've got to practice, right, boys? Didn't you just go there the other day, though? Maybe he was looking for a costume for Jung. No, no, no. The way I remember, he was going to meet some woman. What was her name again? That woman behind the counter? Uh, Lily, was it? Are you gonna give me Lily? That's right, Lily! How did things go with her, anyway? Would you two shut up already? <laughs> anyway, it's a simple job. You guys should be fine. You'll find the stuff on the second floor of the coin palace. Should be three pieces total. You can't miss them. Just leave it to us. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of exclamation points. Hello, sir. Well, hey there. Care to listen to the ramblings of an old muscle head? Sure. I'm this troop's all-star pitcher, you know. You are? Why would a circus troop need a pitcher? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> My fastball is one of the most popular acts you know. Throw it again, Cage. Raging Cage, the star shooter. That's what they called me. Couldn't get enough of me. My wet and right streaks. My red and white streaks, my red and white streaks. Then our business and our audience began to wane. I found myself pitching less and less. To the point where I was losing my touch. Rusty pitcher, could it get much worse? But what could I do? I didn't have anyone to practice with. My fastball's just too well fast. John, why don't you give it a try, huh? You could help him. You, you think you got what it takes to hit my fastball? Of course. I don't know. Well, I'll be. Someone finally willing to go up against my fastball. Then, let's get things fired up. 
I have to hit it? Oh, got one! Got it! Got it! Got it! Oh! Got it! Got it! Oh, no! No! Yes! Yeah! Oh, no! Yeah! 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 Oh, we caught it! Whoa, wow, we! I caught it! This feeling! This feeling! It's like all that passion, all that pan fried pizzazz passed straight into my palm. Ooh, ooh, muscle. That's the stuff. That's the feeling I've been missing. The crowd will be shoot shouting my name again tonight. Yeah! Cool. Hello, Mr. Clown. Mr. Clown frown. He frowning like a clown. Why do you look so sad? Mine is a tale of woe, I'm afraid. My name's Dorcas. And I'm Malarcus. No one asked you. I'm clown here in the troop. As if that weren't obvious. I used to have an act called Boxes of Fright. Fright is right. Those creepy dolls you had popping out of the boxes were enough to haunt kids' dreams. You should have seen all the complaints we got from parents. That's why I'm changing it. Yes, I have a new act now. A real showstopper. I call it The Slight is Right. More like The Slight is Wrong, where this guy is concerned. His hands are as slow as molasses. Even a baby would be able to see through the awkward mess he calls an act. I don't need to hear that from you. And yet, I know he's right. My hands just aren't nimble enough to pull off the trick. Let me see. Maybe I can do something to help. Really? You watch my act? Oh, joy, joys. Don't be too harsh on him. His pride's brittle as an eggshell. Here it goes. <laughs> Not too hard at this point, right? Now, watch this. Head already a jumble, is it? But wait, there's more. Oh boy. Now where do you think the ball is? It's uh, in the middle. Is that your final answer? Yes. Are you absolutely, completely sure? More than anything. Oh, well, you were right. It's true. I really am awful at this. My hands are just too slow. Oh. 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 Maybe I should just give up. Oh, well, thanks anyway for trying to help. Feel free to come back anytime. I'm always here. Do I have to lose? Do I have to lose on purpose to make him feel better? All right, watch carefully now. I won't hold back this time. Don't be too harsh on him, his prize is blown out, yeah. Bing! Here it goes! Now where do you think the ball is? Look at him, look, he's happy. Wrong! <laughs> I did it! I really did it! Maybe I'm not horrible at this! Yep, we're supposed to get it wrong. Oh, thank you, truly, I feel on top of the world right now. When my hands feel positively electric, I could fool anyone. There you go, uh... That's the spirit. And then her, we're just looking to get her some clothing from the coin palace. Some paraphernalia, that guy said. All right, now how do you get to the second floor of this place? Cause I know, oh wait, I know how to get to the second floor. It's the same place we were, it's where we got to see the balls. We go here and we go up the stairs. Duh, I'm an idiot, I'm sorry. I look up for some para, oh, hello. This mask, it must be part of the costume. Just two pieces left, they gotta be around here somewhere. We're just stealing, oh my God, we're stealing BDSM stuff. <gasps> Tissues, no! Oh no, we're stealing BDSM stuff. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh no, oh. <laughs> what a pretty wig. Just one piece left. Oh my god. Kids at home, don't watch this part. Don't watch. You look away. You look away. You look away. Don't you watch this now, you sinners. Is that a torture chamber? It's gotta be this whip. Oh my 
god. <laughs> oh my god. I obtained the Beetle Queen costume. A Beetle Queen? Who's into a Beetle Queen? That's it? All the pieces of the costume? Come on, John, let's head back. Yes, please, I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Can we do- oh my god, can we wash these things first? Can we wash them? Ster sterilize! Bleach, mama! We're just gonna give them to her as is? Used? Oh no. Here you are, Miss Lady. I got you them outfits that I definitely did not wash. So if they smell a little smelly, like, um, sweat and regret, I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> oh, you folks did it! I knew asking you to do this was the right choice. This- this is what you want me to wear? But it's a bit, um, embarrassing, don't you think? Now you say it's embarrassing, but these cat folks went all the way to the coin palace to get it for you. Oh my god, he's just trying to get a kink out of this. He's like, guys, I got a good outfit. He's just trying to get her to wear it, and he's gonna be like... Nasty! You were the one who wanted to help! Truly, these delicate garments would weep at losing the chance to adorn your form, my lady. Oh... Okay, just, uh, give me a, a moment, please. Oh no. Oh no, what she's gonna look like. Bow before me, maggots! Excuse me? Okay! <gasps> oh, boobs! Oh my god. On your knees! Th this is brilliant! Oh my god! <laughs> Did I say you could speak, worm? I am the Beetle Queen. I can't thank you enough for retrieving this costume for me. Yes, perhaps some sort of reward is in order. Oh, no need to worry. It won't be anything too painful. Just leave tonight's performance to me. The men in this city won't know what hit them. Yes, ready your stakes, boys, because tonight the tent shall rise. Wow, who knew Jung was so eloquent? Whoosh! That is the Beetle Queen, I bet you. Who is this Zhang you speak of? I am the Beetle Queen. <laughs> How utterly splendid! I knew you two would pull through. Tonight's carnival is going to be a smashing success. I just know it. However, there is one thing. We still need you to do. What? Yes, a job of utmost importance. What is it? An important job? What is it, huh? What is it? What is it? Tickets? Tickets? We're doing tickets? Are you kidding me? Come on. I hate doing tickets. Oh, this is bringing back so many memories. I've done so many ticket booths and I'm tired of it. I'm so tired of ticket booths. Like, oh my god. Welcome. Welcome. You gotta smile, son. Smile. No, I don't want to smile. Get away from me. Don't talk to me. Who's that? Mm. Do I look like him? Mm. Welcome! Moo. Mung! Hey, Mung! Welcome, welcome! Welcome! Ah, oh, it's Mung! Well, if it isn't Her Majesty's little pee. You going to the carnival too? Nah, have to work. Oh my god, story of my life. Aren't you responsible? Oh, good luck with that! Bye, Mung! Oh, look, there's Lily. What you want, Lily? Welcome! Get out of here, Lily. I don't want to talk to you. And now, taking the stage, Kitty the Ferocious Jungle Cat and her trainer, El Tigre! Can we go watch now? Can't. Gotta work. Oh no! That's the evil person that was talking to Mother, which was Evil Sam. Well, hello there, Sonny. Here for the circus. Welcome. Weird kid. And now, the fastest arm this side of the dam. The steel-armed wonder, Raging Cage Olsen. I wanna watch. You gotta work. We do not gotta work. This is free labor. You're not even paying us, ho. Get out of here. Let's go. Can't just watch for a bit. Ah, John, our crab pot. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, the food. <gasps> the food. We forgot about the food. We forgot about the food. Oh, shit. Overcooked. How disappointing. If they'd actually been able to recreate that crab pot, I, I might have actually been forced to throw in the towel. It seems Lady Locke is on my side. <laughs> hey, you put that cigarette out right now, you're in Alpha's house. 
<laughs> Lily's not gonna know what hit him. He'd never in a million years expect that John can make his beloved da big damn crab pot. <laughs> yeah, put that cigarette away, you fucking no, no, no. Lovely, here comes my migraine. Wait, is that a cigar I smell? Lily's already here. You haven't touched anything, have you? If you've sabotaged all of John's hard work... Oh, you've done a far better job at that than I ever could. Hey, you can't just walk out of here. This is the big damn crab pot, your favorite. Yes, yes, and let me just ask you one thing, will you? What's the most vital thing to remember for a successful crab pot? Why, just the right amount of time in the pot, of course. <laughs> Her face. Oh no! Running, running, running. I've seen enough, though I am a bit hungry for some crab now. I'll need to have my chef cook me a replacement. Oh, a damn goon. You have one chance left. One. John Renner is like, oh my god. <laughs> Are you even ta taking this seriously? You've yet to produce even a single dish I can actually eat. If you had time to go play around at the circus, why not put those hands to good use and actually think of something good? Don't talk to me like that, ho. I could kick you, kill you, even. I killed a lot. Worse than you, I'll kill you. Next time. Next time you're going down. Come on, John. Let's head back inside. Mm-hmm. We can still, uh, eat this, right? If you don't have any taste buds, maybe. But it was only barely overcooked. It can't be that bad. Do you not remember the time you ate those mushrooms? Playing around at the circus? Ha! Huh. Who does he think he is, huh? We weren't playing around. We were working. And we were going to BDSM chambers and getting someone some skimpy little outfits. That's what we were doing. Huh? What? What's that smell? Smell? You mean the crab pot? <laughs> She's like, oh no. I is this John's crab pot? How did it turn out so, so, so... You didn't add something weird to it, did you? Oh, uh, wow. Hey, my cooking isn't that bad. It's just overcooked. These crabs are a little, um, delicate. It's really easy to overcook them. I guess we'll have to try again tomorrow. I wouldn't if I were you. If I know Lee, he's already grokking himself on Crab Pot right now. And without that spark of pure, unadulterated childlike surprise, I just don't know if it'll have the same effect. But then what are we going to do? Hmm? What are you waiting for? Just knock. Who is it? But this is the prince's house. Princess's house. Who is it? Who is it? What? We're here to see John and Sam. C -c -could, could we come inside? Of course, you may. Just uh, don't let the smell boil you over. Boil you over. Boil. Hello. Oh, it's you guys. Holy wowza, this is the princess's house? It's ginormous! Huh? And everyone from the troop is here too. Oh, the circus is here? Hello. Somebody slapped me with a dead fish. What is that smell? I'm having visions of Jasper socks. Oh, that's just our crab pot. Our, um, slightly overcooked crab pot. I thought the princess's house would be pink. Yeah, and smelling like cookies and fairy dust or something. <laughs> Quiet. No one wants your pitiful appraisal. The show. How did the show go? Oh, wow. Look at all that produce. It was... A booming success. It was? Oh gosh, oh well. Then that means you guys can stay, right? You don't have to leave? Indeed, which just leaves your little problem. 
Our little problem? Yes, Jasper already filled us in. He said the two of you have gotten yourselves embroiled in a little wager with Lee. <laughs> you, folks, you folks sure got balls of steel going up against the Lee on the new damn city's most curtastic cram lord. A real son of a snake, that one. At any rate, it seemed like the perfect time for our troop to step in to save the day. Lily's not really that bad. So, so cute. Lily's not really that bad. Oh god, no. You could say the same for her, but shut up, you. Don't you can talk about out? Thank you. Whoosh. Whoosh. Thank you. But what I meant to say was uh, gifts. We brought gifts. Gifts to help you wipe that smug grin off Lee's face. You mean, all of this is for us? I mean, it is on your table, girl. Holy cow, this is amazing! Is this snow plain cactus? Wow, I've never seen, in the fl seen this in the flesh before. Stupendous, the princess is insane, has seen, has such a keen intuition. And is this cheese? It looks a little weird. It's cheese from my hometown, but not just any cheese, this is hard rock cheese. And these are called fright shrooms. They're so good, they'll give you a fright. <laughs> what? No good? Oh, he's waiting for a laugh. They look like normal mushrooms. This, this, this is amazing. Now we're gonna win for sure. Quick, John, we gotta get cooking. What are we making? <laughs> it smells so good. It certainly looks more appetizing than our previous attempts. Oh, John. But I still can't help but feel that we're missing that yes factor, that ultimate clincher. Hmm. I found them! I found them! Huh? It's Jasper. Allow me to introduce the great, the brilliant, William the Merchant. Oh, and his assistant, Daniel. Oh, William. Why is William here? We meet again. You guys know each other? We first met on board Charon. We also gave him the glazy berries yesterday. That's not suspicious at all. D don't worry, we're not trying to trick you this time, trick. Ah, ah, he just admitted it was a trick, you motherfucker. Let me do the talking, please. Shut up, uh, don't you fucking talk to Daniel like that. After hearing that our magnumonous benefactors had found themselves in a crisis, we thought it would only that be right. Oh, I'm sorry. We thought it only right that we offer recompense sorts. And the suspicion grows. Let's just hear what they have to say. Have you fine ladies ever heard of Quake Valley? Yeah, we've been there before. You mean the dump? It's a dump? Yes, yes, it has developed that, hmm, alias, as it were. There's a lot of uh, uh, earthquakes there, so, so people call it Quake Viva Valley. And not just any quakes, you see. If my intel is correct, those quakes are caused by a rather rambunctious creature known as the Tembler Fish. Yeah, but that thing's not edible. An astute observation, my dear princess. I see, you see, I see you've done some research of your own. <laughs> well, mostly thanks to Izzy. But have any of you ever given any thought as to why that fish causes its trem tremulous trembles? We're still not really sure. Maybe it's got an itch, and, and, and because it doesn't have any hands, it can't scratch it. An excellent hypothesis, Sam. You may be a scientist yet. But a flawed conclusion, I'm afraid. No, the reason behind this is a bit more gluttonous. Did you know that fish are quite sensitive when it comes to earthquakes? Even the slightest tremor will send them hopping and skipping atop the water surface. Yeah, but what does that have to do with anything? It has everything to do with everything, for you see, our gormandizing friend uses these quakes to dine on his piscine brethren. What a smart fish! Indeed, but what's next is key to this whole affair. The bulk of this fish's diet, you see, consists of a fish so delicate, so delectable, so dreamy. Why, you'd never want to partake of any other fish again. The Golden Valley Snapper. Yeah, yeah, we know all of that. That thing's basically primo when it comes to gourmet cuisine. The G Golden S L Valley Snapper smells like lilies and, and tastes as sweet as honey. 
its f flesh's tantalizing texture that dances in your mouth. And, and not only that, it's full of nutrients too. It's the c cream of the crop when it comes to f fish. A Quake Valley's diamond in the rough. This fish sounds amazing! The only problem is it's very crafty. You can't catch it like n normal fish. Only the Trembler fish has ever been able to c catch it. Putting it, putting two and two together, then it would seem our task is simple. If we find the Trembler fish, we find our snapper. Wait just a minute here. Who said we'd agree to any of this yet? Of course, whether you choose to set forth in this venture is completely up to you. Yet, I cannot be the only one thinking that your choices are, shall we say, limited. I've got to admit, I got a pretty fierce, fierce hankering for Snapper now. Hmm. I've always wanted to give that golden fish fiend a try. And, and Quake Valley sounds like a super cool place. We've been there, Sam. Marvelous, marvelous. Then, it seems you've already made your decision. Shall we meet to say tomorrow morning at the big station? I do hope you have all a wonderful night's sleep. Sweet dreams. I hate him. I hate him. What does he want? What does he want? What does he, what does he get out of this, huh? What does he get out of this, huh? What does he want? Because he wouldn't help us without something. Because he's a schemer. He's like a rumple stilt skin. He's a motherfucker. That's what he is. I hate him. I don't like him. I just want to go see Daniel. I want to hug Daniel, the human Daniel, and be like, it's okay, it's okay, you're loved, Daniel, oh my god, oh, piece of shit. But there is some kind of, he, there's a plot. He's either going to take the golden snapper for himself and we're not going to get any, or there's something else going on, maybe we're going to die, he's going to try and kill us, there's something else going on because he's a piece of shit, he's a piece of shit. I told you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, there's something else. There is something afoot, 12 inches, I'm telling you, right now. Yeah. <laughs>